Beef roast stuffed potatoes. You will certainly love this recipe. So the first ingredients I'm going to add to this here perfectly good looking beef roast is some of the usual all purpose seasoning. Don't forget about that black pepper. Pass me some of that there garlic powder. Got to toss on some of that onion powder too. Now I want you to go ahead and season the other side with the same seasonings. Now throw some olive oil in that pot, turn the heat up to high heat, let this thing brown up on each side for two minutes. That's right, two minutes, and then flip it and then take it out of the pot. Now we have both sides of the beef brown. I want you to remove it from the pot, but I do not want you to clean that pot at all. Don't think about it, but I do want you to add one tablespoon of butter to this. Also, I want you to slice up one onion. Take two stalks of celery and slice them and take one carrot and slice it and cook your carrot until they get a nice color on it. Cook these vegetables until they get a nice color on it. Don't worry about the doneness of it. Just get the color and we're going to move to the next step. I'm telling y'all right now, this is going to be good and tasty. Trust and believe me. Follow the recipe. You're going to love these here. Let's go and do it now. <laughs> Now I want you to go ahead and take that beef roast and put it right back to the pot. Take you some water or beef broth. I'm not being judgmental. And just cover the beef up with the water or beef broth. Just cover it up. Now I want you to take you a nice size bowl, cup. I don't care what you use, a recycled container. Take some of this here Lipton onion beef soup mix. Pour it into some water. Mix it up pretty good. But here's the other ingredients I want you guys to get right now because you, got, you can get this at Sam's. I'm telling you, if you try this is going to jazz it up a bit get some beef base you can find it at sam's you could probably find some at walmart or wherever the case may be but just get you some beef base take about one tablespoon somebody saying one tablespoon are you mad crazy no take one tablespoon of beef base and mix everything together once you mix that together add it to your pot Now go ahead and put your stove on medium high heat, all right? And then I want you to go ahead and cover this pot up and let it cook for one hour. This is what we're going to do for the first stages, one hour of cook time, and I'll show you what to do next after that. 
But meantime, in between time, get yourself two, four nice size baked potatoes or how many baked potatoes you want to fix for yourself. And I already just smothered these up with some um, olive oil. Then I'm taking some kosher salt and I'm just sprinkling kosher salt all around these potatoes. Now, I want these baked potatoes to bake in the oven for about an hour and 25 minutes. And if you want to give it a little additional 15 more minutes to get the skin crispy, do so. But now, since our hour is up, I will meat is almost tender not all the way tender because we're going to let this thing cook for another hour so put your lid back on it set your timer again for one more hour and let it cook but this is what i want you to do all right and your next step is going to be quite simple and easy so look follow these instructions take you a cup i want you to go ahead and put you some flour in it i'm gonna say at least around about a half a cup of flour and then take you some water and just whip it up we're going to make a some some slurry with this we're going to thicken up our gravy okay when that hour is up so i want you to go ahead and mix it up real quick now i want you to make this not super thick and not super thin but just make fix it where it's just a little loose you'll see what i'm talking about Now what I want you to do is go ahead and since it had already been cooked for an hour, we're going to go ahead and turn our heat down. I want you to turn your heat down to low. All right. Turn it down to low. Now, I want you to also move your pot off of the eye. Take it off of the heat. And I want you to add this slurry right inside that, that gravy and stir as you pour. When you pour, you stir. I don't want you making dumplings. So I need you to pour. All right. And stir at the same time. So continue to do this and it's going to thicken up. Now, if it's too thick, I want you to take a little water and just thin it out a little bit. Remember, you can add to it, but you can't take away from it. So just add a little water at a time for the thickness and get it to the consistency that you want. All right. So after that, I want you to put the pot right back on the stove. And turn the heat up just a little bit at a time, just a little bit, and allow your meat to cook until it's very tender, fall apart, fork tender. Let's do that right now. Now, at this point, I want you to put it right back on the stove and then I want you to turn your heat up just a little bit, a little put a, probably in between a medium, medium heat and then cover it up with the lid. But I want you to check on this so you don't burn that meat at the bottom. OK, now I want you to take all of your veggies and add your veggies to the pot. Remember, have your heat to medium setting, not on high, because we don't want you to burn this. Your gravy has a thickness that you already want. Now, the only thing we're going to do is allow these vegetables to get tender. When your carrots are tender, you are ready to serve this baby up. You better believe what I'm saying. Now, you can have this with for dinner, Sunday dinner. You don't even have to use baked potatoes for this. You can eat this with whatever favorite side dishes you like, and I guarantee you, is going to be a winner. I ain't joking with y'all. Y'all know Ray Mac ain't playing. So go ahead and put your lid on this pot right now and let it cook for at least around about a good 20 minutes or so. I'm just guessing 20 minutes, but until those carrots are tender. You understand what I'm saying? And it's going to be delicious, y'all. Trust and believe me. Now, I want you to take your potatoes out that oven. As you can see, the skin is looking good. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now, I want you to take you a knife and I want you to go ahead and cut you some slits in these potatoes. How I do it is I'll cut at least one cross section against the bottom and then 
I'll do another section the same way at the other end, and then I'll split it right down the middle. That's how I like opening up my potatoes, okay? And you will see exactly how I open these babies up and what I'm talking about. Everybody has a different way of cutting their potatoes, baked potatoes, or open their potatoes up. But I like mine looking just like this, as you can see. All right. Now, once your potatoes are open, take your fork. Try your best to fluff it out a little bit because we're going to add us some parquet to this. Somebody's saying, oh, my God, he got parquet. What's wrong with him? Hey, if you want to use some of that Kerrygold um, garlic and herb butter, be my guest. Do so. You understand what I'm saying? If you want to use your favorite butter, whatever the case may be, even your homemade butter, go ahead. Ain't nobody judging you. I ain't ju going to judge you. So don't judge me for using this fantastic parquet on my potatoes. And it was good, too, y'all. Oh, uh, no jokes aside. So so I got some of this here seasoning that I got from Ross, all right, because we know Ross is the boss. Use your use your favorite seasoning that you like seasoning up your potatoes with. Uh, it, it don't matter. You can't go wrong. You understand what I'm saying? And just sprinkle a little here, sprinkle a little there in your potatoes, mix everything up. And after you do that, you know what to do. Take, take you a good spoonful of that goodness in that pot on the other side and stuff these babies like crazy. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all didn't hear what I just said. I'm going to say it again. Stuff these babies like crazy. And I also had this with some side dishes. So I had me some um, cabbage along with this. And I also had some string beans. And I also fixed myself some cornbread. So I'm telling you, this will be a heavy meal for the stomach. But it'll put you to sleep. Try this recipe. And I guarantee you, you're going to love it. This is my guarantee unto you. Try it. I guarantee you will not regret it.
They always say beggars can't be choosers, so I'm begging right now. Come on, y'all, subscribe to my channel, Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Become a Ray Max family member. Also, hit that membership. I'm telling y'all, we're going to do some great things on this here channel. We're going to learn how to start blessing other people. Subscribe to that membership. Yes, Lord. And also, give this video a thumbs up. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Peace. Thank you.